Who told us a hundred kilos would be enough for me to bring down? I didn't say hundred kilos. What did you say? Uh, I didn't say anything. Oh, oh. I brought two sixty down, and we don't have uh, two bars left. Yep. What? Ten kilograms. Ten, less than ten kilograms. Well, it's a bit on the top of the nest. A bit on the top of the nest. Yeah. And, and it was a bit aerated as well. Yeah. So we, we might have like 15 kilograms left. Yeah. <laughs> so we're back at it again today. All the casting's been done. So now we've just got to get in the hole. We'll do, dig ourselves some holes to go sit in for a couple of days. So we've got three nests to dig out. So we've got, we've, we've got an average size one and then they just get bigger from there. Well, maybe it's a small one and then we've got an average one and a big one. Well, maybe the big one's the average one. Exactly. Well, yeah. How old, how old did Jen say the nest, nest were? Well, she reckoned that the biggest one was about 20 years old. 20 years old. So, yeah. So, so, unfortunately, there'll probably be some cold joints in that nest, which will create weakness as we dig it out. Um, but we can't do anything about that. I mean, we had 90 kilograms molten at once. 90 kilograms. Can you imagine? In a, in a paddock. 90 kilograms of molten aluminium walking on a couple of sticks without spilling it and then going oh we need, we need another 5 to 10 kilograms no we need 30 kilograms and we're still short unbelievable size it's I'm, I'm really looking forward to getting it getting down there today we're gonna yep. see see where he goes so it works so I'm dealing with the little one and the not so little one. The medium one. And you're dealing with the enormous one. It's going to be a hell of a day. Three days, probably. Two days. I know you're an academic and you like long lunches. Ooh. I've never had, never seen a trainee take a short lunch. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah. Let's get on to it. Yep, let's get on to it. Get going. So this is our second largest nest, or it took the second largest amount of aluminium. It took about 80 kilograms. So the first thing I'm going to do for this is clean up all the aluminium, stick it in my crucible, so for remelting, reuse. Then I'm going to clear away the sand from the top. Uh, after that, I'm going to get on the gurney or the pressure washer, and I am going to um, dig away the top of the nest. Uh, so that we have an idea of the scale of what we've cast so that when if and when the excavator comes we can tell him how to dig down without damaging the nest all right get on with it
This is huge. So yeah. where, where are you up to? Oh, big hole in the ground. Yeah. <laughs> Bigger hole in this one. Sure. Deeper hole. You just want to poke at it more. I know. So, so this hole is actually the size. It goes out to the extremities. Pretty much. So you can't see it at the moment. It's all buried in the corners, but the hole is basically the size of it. Even down, even under this trigger here, I can see I can yeah, see it coming up, wrapping around, edge. wrapping around the trigger on the other side here. So where are we up to? Oh man, we're making a big mess, finding lots of rocks, and trying to dig it out. At some point, found a few tree roots, but got lots of soil penetration. Got some stuff running over the top of the soil. Got some chambers coming back up, or tunnels coming back up to chambers that we can't cast because that's the way that that works. Um, and it's cold. It is cold. So it'll be interesting to see. I still can't get underneath this nest yet. I've been concentrating on finding the extremities rather than finding the actual structure underneath. So the next task is to do that. Find, or actually probably stop on this nest, clean it up a bit, and then go and dig out the third casting, which is a bit smaller. Yeah. Um, because we don't want the excavator to ruin things here, and it's a really big hole. So I don't know what we're going to do to get him with him. What do you think? We'll figure it out tomorrow. He probably has to dig from here back, doesn't he? Back out of the end. Uh, this is our largest pour. We're looking at 110 in the ground and then another 30 kilograms of the head uh, up here. That's around about that. This was the most difficult dig that we've done today to, and to date. We've got so much aluminium in here, we had to do multiple pours. So we did the two, we had 90 kilos molten and really hot. That just disappeared and then we had to add another uh, 50 kilos approximately and then pour that on top and we did that in two lots it was crazy and no explosions this old nest was 20 years old we've learnt over our time to, to, to mound more and to get more around the sides there and it's made our life easier so you can still see the green sands cooked off and just our plain sands just, just sitting there really well but let's get on to it
stoked at this. Can't, I can't believe I was going to say, well, just delete this one and just worry about the other two because of a missed pour to begin with. There. So you found the, all the corners? No, you haven't even found the end of this one yet. Oh, that's, um, I'm, going to, I'm not worried about that because it's going to that side and that side. So long as you give yourself enough space yeah, to actually yeah. put your thing on, don't, well, forget, well, don't forget the idea of how to actually support this thing as it comes out of the ground. Okay. But I'm happy. I, yeah, this is we've, we've achieved our 90% of our goal for the day, which was to have them all free and clear at the top, except getting that one out. Well, tomorrow morning's minus five. Oh, that's a terrible plan. <laughs> We might have to unfreeze our pipes before we... Oh. Oh. Hey, remember, remember my thing? Let's let's spend the money and get some hot water pressure washers? No. Nope. Don't remember that? That, no. was, that was like, yeah, let's. I've got prices and travelling and... No, well, it was meant to be 15 degrees today. We only made that call and uh, not 15 degrees today. <laughs> We've done a lot of ant nests. We've done three large bull ant nests before. None of them, none of them have looked like this. This sort of sky, this sort of scale. The 52 kilo one was like this, but way smaller. Half the size, apparently. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Large. The 52 kilos with just that top section and then branching off from there. Yeah, well, yeah, if only we had it still, we could put the two next to each other. When are we, when are we gonna get shot. back into the, the basement of no, no. PUT and never. And set up a never, lazy never. Susan to spin them on. Lazy Susan doesn't take this one. <laughs> Might have to come up with another solution. All right, I'm cold. Hey, Len. You warm? Hey, you got, got another hour in you? Maybe tomorrow. It'll be even cold tomorrow morning. Hey. Hey. I'm torn. Amazing. Yes, home time. It's Turn, amazing. Turn stuff off, put on warm things, <laughs> and go home. Go home. Shower, maybe. <laughs> you feel like this in. Oh, yeah. We've been in trouble for that before. 